Hi everybody. So today I'm gonna I'm going to talk about a new way of uh, giving you assignment in the lab. Okay, so the lab will be using the up down counter you works on it originally the code was given to you right so what what is the new mission the new mission we know what is finite state machine and we learn something is called sequence detector right so we learn up down counter we learn how to use the uh, up down and the problem with up down the code i gave it to you before then we learn what is finite state machines through the lectures right and we learn also how to make a ram or memory and you already have the code you can find the code in what in one of the recorded lectures i don't remember which one but anyway now we're gonna use three of them together in this assignment what is exactly we're gonna use finite set machine you're gonna make sequence detector you're gonna make a sequence detector sequence detector what is this sequence detector is doing is a follow okay so you already have here five switches for the speed you have here uh, the two switches one for the enable one for up down then you already have here like a kind of uh, the bottom for the setting or something like that right here's the thing from the lecture, look at the sequence detector, how it works. And you're gonna build me a circuit connected to the counter. So when you will detect the, the sequence, it will start incrementing by one. Okay, so how it works, you have here, for instance, um, uh, let's say eight, no, you know, we said here five, we said here two. So maybe we can have here maybe um, four switches. Okay. So your four switches will go into what? Four switches, right? Will go as an input to the memory. Then the output of this memory, of course, you would have here what, what like incremental, right? So, how many locations you have? You have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you have eight locations. Okay. So, that means here you already have uh, three bits address pointer, right? So, and then you know you already have here the write, you already have the read, and so on, right? So you're going to see, I don't know how you're going to make it, but you know, here you already have four switches, those, and then you need three switches for like pointing which, which data will be written there manually. So you're going to start filling four, 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 four. Sounds good. Then what we're going to do, you're going to examine the output here. So you push, you know, you start reading. You read the first line, right? You will check the, the patch the sequence so you know imagine that you already have four four so the end of the day you know i need you to save like one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight so that means you know you gotta start reading the first patch you put it here in the register that's a register second patch register fourth patch and so on then you're going to start pushing this sequentially, right? Because this is the input of the sequence, All right? So you're going to have a sequence. Here's the input of the sequence. This is my sequence. And I have here like a three different what matching things. So you can make it like a register. Let's say that you are looking for 101 one as a pattern. This is my pattern, OK? So, if, you know, there is no overlapping. There is no overlapping. 
There is no overlapping. So you're going to use the code, no overlapping. So you're going to start pushing into the sequence detector here, and you start looking. Then you know the output of this, every time the match will happen, match will happen, one will be happening. What was this one will be doing? This one will be incrementing the, incrementing the sentencing. That means you're going to be turning on, enabling, enabling the up counter. So you'll be enabling one, 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 one. Every time you find one, you increment. Every time you find one, you increment. Every time you find one, you increment. So that means, you know, you're going to set up this into what? Here, you're going to set up an up, and you will enable. And then the first enable, you remember, from the up-down counter will be basically the output of the sequence detector. Do you have all the resources? Yes, you have the all resources. You just need to think. This time, you know, I'm not gonna give you a code because you know you already have codes. You think about how can you build a system. So the meaning of this lab is building a system. Meaning of this lab is building a system. Okay. So again, you know, you're gonna use a memory, and you don't know what is memory. The input of it is four. The output is of four bit. Four switches go in there. Three switches for helping you to read and write. Of course, you don't need to have the luxury of having, you know, this, you know, two different pointers, one for the read, one of the right, because the li limited number of switches, or you can do it. That's do it. That's perfectly fine to me. Then you know you would start filling, and then you know you start pushing buttons to fill those pieces in the register. And then this register would be sequentially. That means you push here with zero. Then you know that ones will go here or zeros or whatever into sequential different. This one is finite state machine. You will compare it with this value, and if you see any patterns without overlapping, you will increment the PC counters, and that's it. So 50% of this in demonstrations and showing me what does it mean the system and how did you build it? So they're gonna be new. And then you know optimization and resources and power and the report, and of course, you know the required test benches and corner cases to be written in the report. How many days you have for this? I'm gonna give you two weeks. So this coming Wednesday, let me check. So, you know, Wednesday is fourth, right? 11th. So November 11th is your dead line and the time of showing me the circuit run. So I'll give you enough time, right? So look at it, you know, focus about it. And it's going to be completely you think about it as you're really mature enough for building the circuit. If you have any questions, let me know, and I would be more than happy to assist as much as I can. Thanks so much for your time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.